What is going on, Ship Army? It is Ahmed, and I am back today with yet another video for you on. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about why crypto is going absolutely parabolic. And of course, Shiba Inu is doing the same. Now, remember, as always, I like to preface by saying that I'm not a financial advisor. Rather, I'm just trying to put you guys on the place that I'm in. And if you are new around here, it would mean the world to me if you would smash the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel. And in addition, the TQM channel is kind of my new side project. And it would also mean a lot to me if you guys go ahead and check those videos out. We talk about things like side hustles, ways to make money outside of crypto. And the last video I posted, why we should not be saving money in 2023. So check that out. But let's talk about crypto right now. Bitcoin way above 23,000, hitting an all pretty much an all three month high at 23,600 just a little bit ago, heading towards $24,000. Shiba Inu also breaking its resistance over the last 24 hours. Everything is skyrocketing on some news from Elon Musk and the Tesla folks. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about why crypto is so bullish all of a sudden. If with the blink of an eye, that's why I love crypto so much is things can turn around so quickly. Now, here it is. An article published from Yahoo Finance, Tesla did not buy or sell any Bitcoin in the fourth quarter. The big thing that crypto saw was the fact that they did not sell off their balance sheet in the fourth quarter of 2022. Their quarter earnings just came out, which they did beat earnings. $1.13 was expected per share, and it was actually $1.19 per share, which again made Tesla actually start going parabolic as a stock as well. Electric car maker, says Yahoo Finance, did not buy or sell any Bitcoin in the fourth quarter for the second straight quarter the company reported on Wednesday. The value of its digital assets at the end of the quarter was $184 million, down from a $218 million quarter over quarter from the third quarter of 2022. At the end of the third quarter, the price of Bitcoin was slightly under $20,000, while at the end of quarter four, it was at $16,500. So as crypto went down, Bitcoin went down, their position was losing significant value. They diamond-handed and did not sell a single token. Tesla also made no changes to its Bitcoin holdings in the third quarter, but in the second quarter of last year of 2022, they did sell almost a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, or approximately 75% of its total asset holding, in order to raise cash for uncertainty due to the lockdowns and things that were happening also over in China. CEO Elon Musk said at the time that the company was open to increasing its Bitcoin exposure in the future and that the sale should not be taken as a verdict on Bitcoin. They had to do it and companies have to do what they got to do. But the fact is, when Bitcoin was pretty much at a two-year low, they did not sell a single token. Instead, they may be eyeing and looking at potentially increasing their position size. And I think, again, that's what set so well with crypto investors. Overall, the fourth quarter, Tesla reported adjusted earnings at $1.19, as I stated. $1.13 was where they were looking, where analysts were looking. So again, they did beat expectations. They did beat their earnings, which is a pretty significant boost in their stock as well. So again, crypto is looking good. And again, folks, for those of you who have not been around for as long as I've been talking about crypto over the last almost two years now, actually, remember, crypto is a very volatile game. It goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways. So make sure you understand that before putting any money into this vehicle for investing. Remember, never to buy, sell, or hold any crypto asset in the market just because someone else is buying and selling it too. I know I'm a huge fan of Shiba Inu, I'm a huge fan of Ethereum, Bitcoin, and a lot of other ERC-20 contracts, but understand they do come with a lot of risk. But if you want to be a part of the journey of volatility, make sure, again, you subscribe down below. And also comment down below and let me know, what are your thoughts in terms of crypto over the next few months? Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Or are you just excited to see where things go? I appreciate your support as always. Feels so good to be back home. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, everybody, take care and keep investing. Peace.